we were first approached by Nottingham Trent University in uh, December of 2016. Um, they had a scheme that they were looking to develop in uh, a newly acquired part of their educational um, business called Confetti. They have carved out a niche for themselves in the multimedia sector. Um, and when I say multimedia, I mean music, um, film, production, direction um, and engineering. Um, they've got a world-class reputation uh, and they're looking to build on that by providing a new state-of-the-art building. The staff at Confetti had an incredibly clear vision of what they wanted and that actually helped us to develop our engineering solutions in order to provide them with that clear space in which they could do what they needed to do. The fact that it was a city centre hub for them is useful because it means that uh, all the students are in and around the city centre and it's got that vibrancy, it's in the middle of the cultural quarter um, and they were very keen to keep there, um, which meant that we had to work very hard to make sure that the internal environments of that building were not affected by noise traffic, by air pollution uh, and that led us very much towards um, developing a system that was able to provide them uh, an internal environment that was incredibly efficient but able to, for them to carry out their core duties which was basically to offer this education facility that's not really offered anywhere else in the country. Um, the Confetti buildings really allowed us to push the envelope of what we can do with environmental buildings. We're looking to take as many systems out of it as possible um, and only apply systems at energy have any form of energy intensity into those areas which can't be dealt with in any other way. Combining um, highly sealed facades but with very low demand led ventilation systems for example. Um, what that means is, is that we're delivering the minimum amount of air throughout the whole building all of the time um, but matching the loads within the building to where they were using the building the most. People think they understand what engineers do for a job. They think it's all sums and it's all drawings and it's all specifications. In, in reality, that's a very small part of the overall package that we try to do as an engineer. The main thing, and I tell all of my young graduate engineers, all of the um, apprentices that we employ, is that engineering is all about communication. You might be able to calculate all the pipe sizes, all the duct sizes. You might be able to work out three-dimensional fluid flow through a uh, through an auditoria, but if you can't explain what you're trying to do with that system, then you cannot really engineer that system. Um, and it was incredibly interesting on the confetti building because we had a, an educated client. Um, we had one client from the estate side who was very conversant in the building industry, and we had the confetti client side who were obviously very conversant in what they wanted this building to do from a media studies point of view. Um, and an incredibly professional um, design team um, led by Alan Joyce Architects. From, from the outset, the, um, the m strategy was quite clear. We've got a, a building that we knew wanted to draw on um, industrial heritage and a very sort of contemporary industrial aesthetic. Uh, so, for example, um, exposed shuttered concrete surfaces for the soffits and walls were an initial part of the scheme. And so as a result of that, we decided early on that it would be an exposed um, services approach. Uh, that led to um, a, an understanding of the very specific requirements Confetti have for um, quality work on cable trays, duct work um, and, uh, and lighting. So uh, the M&E aspect was, uh, was an integral part of the aesthetic rather than just an integral part of the performance of the building. Uh, but uh, uh, Jonathan um, came in having, uh, uh, having had sort of similar, I suppose, in some ways, experience on a, um, on a very creative uh, and uh, a very high profile job working on the Everyman Theatre in Liverpool. I think when you start out on your career as an engineer, you're not, your main aim isn't to go out and win prizes, but in 2015, the Everyman Theatre won the RIBA Sterling Prize Award, which is pretty much the, the most prestigious prize you can win in architecture. For those of you not aware of the Everyman Theatre, it's a 450-seat theatre uh, in the centre of Liverpool. Um, and it was seven years of my life, a wonderful seven years, uh, because we knew we were doing something special. The Everyman Theatre in particular pushed every level of our engineering that we did at Waterman's um, to the very limit of what we knew. And that's the sort of thing that gets you up out of bed in the morning as an engineer, is that you've got a problem to solve, 
Um, and if there's no easy solution, you've got to look around, you've got to push what you know, uh, you've got to push the limits of what's available. Um, and who knows, maybe the graduates in five, six years time, they'll be on the Everyman Theatre stage.